Hello everyone, welcome to Cytocoder. My name is Ravina and today we are going to solve problem number 98 that is validated binary search tree. So let's start by reading the problem statement. It says that given the root of the binary tree, determine if it's a valid binary search tree. A valid binary search tree is defined as follows. The left subtree of the node contains only nodes with keys less than the node's key. The right subtree of the node contains only nodes with keys greater than the node's key. Both the left and the right subtrees must also be binary search trees. So what does it mean? Let's go to our notepad. Now let's take an example. So first of all, what is a binary search tree? Binary search tree is the tree where you know your node is, for example, here I have five. All the nodes on the left of your tree, so all the branches that go on the left side, on the left side will be less. So it can be either 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, whatever. And all the nodes to the right of the root. So considering this is the root, all the nodes to the right of the root, uh, root will be greater. So it will be, say, 8. Okay. So this is what a binary, valid binary search tree is. And it also means that... Um, all of its branches so four can also have two branches left and right and those should also follow the same rules and we have to determine from the given binary tree whether if it's a valid binary tree or not so let's see how we will be able to solve this we are going to make use of upper bound limits and lower bound limits to solve this question so the first thing that we have to do is we have to define upper bounds and lower bounds for our root so for us to start with the lower bound is going to be minus infinity and the upper bound is going to be plus infinity what does it mean is that five should always be greater than my lower bound which is minus infinity and five at the same time should be less than my upper bound which is plus infinity so since we have that determined now we, we are going to explore our tree so to explore our tree we have five we are going to explore the left hand side first so when we go to the left hand side what's going to happen whenever we we are exploring the left part the left node of particular root node that means that it has to be smaller than what is there than my root node is that right remember all the nodes to the left of the binary tree are less than the node since we are going left we are going to change our upper bound for this particular node 1, the upper bound is going to be now 5 because it is coming all from root 5. And what about the lower bound? The lower bound stays the same. No one touches the lower bound. So my lower bound stays minus infinity. Now we do the check. Is 1 greater than minus infinity? Yes, it is. Is 1 less than 5? Yes, it is. Okay, that checks out. So it will return true. Now we will explore. The right hand side of the tree so when we go on the right hand side of the tree that means that the node that we are exploring should be actually greater than my root node is that right so since it has to be greater than your root node that means your lower bound is going to change so if i'm going to the right my lower bound changes to five and my upper bound actually stays the same now i check is my four actually greater than my five mm no it's not so we actually found something here which is the error and then we are going to return false and this means that this is not actually a valid binary tree now let's take take a example take a look at the example where it's is a binary tree so for example you can see this one two and three we are going to start by two limits which is plus and minus infinity we explore the left hand side since we are going on the left we are exploring the left part of the tree that means my upper bound changes so my upper bound actually becomes my root which is two and then my lower bound stays minus infinity i check is my one greater than minus infinity yes it is okay is my one less than my two yes it is okay so it returns true now it explores the right hand side of the binary tree since we are exploring the right hand side of the binary tree my left limit should change because i'm 
So this lower bound becomes 2 and my upper bound stays the same, which is plus infinity. Then I check, is 3 greater than 2? Yes, it is. Okay, is 3 less than minus infinity? Yes, it is. So it passes and it returns true. So this means that this is actually a valid binary tree. So let's see how we can convert this into code. I'm going to write a, a new method to validate if that is going to be a binary tree or not. So I'll do this. I'll check is valid tree. Let me do is valid binary tree. And then I'm going to pass it my root, my left bound, and then my right bound. The first thing I'm going to check is I'm going to check if my root is not null. If my root is null, then it's a val valid binary tree. So that means I have reached the end of the root. There is nothing in it. And I did not see any falls coming, any falls from any of the nodes. That means I've, I have successfully traversed the whole tree and there are no, um, th there is no incorrect number in there. So that means that if I get null root, that means it's a binary tree. So I'll return true. The next condition I want to do is I'll check if my root dot value is less than equal to my left node or my root dot value is greater than equal to my right node. That's what we were doing when we uh, took our left and right. We were just comparing it with the root node and that's what's going to happen if that if any of these are true, then we just return false. That means that there is a glitch in the binary tree and we just return false. Lastly, we are going to call, we are going to do a recursive call to the same method is valid binary tree. And then for the first part, what did we do? If we are going left, uh, we changed the right limit. So since we are going left, the root will become root dot left. So that becomes root dot left. And then since we are going left, the left limit stays the same, but the right changes. What is going to be the right? Right is going to be the current root value. And I'm going to call that again for my right, uh, right node, right? So it's going to be root dot right. If you are going to the right, your uh, right stays the same and your left limit changes. So my left limit is going to be actually my root. And then I'm going to pass in my right limit. In the end, what I have to do, I just have to call my binary search tree method. So I'm going to call it. I'm going to pass in root. I'm going to pass my left node initially as minus infinity. So that's going to be minus INF. And then my right node, right limit is going to be plus infinity. So I'm just going to pass plus infinity. So let's see if we can run it. Okay, I think I did something. Oh, instead of float, I just wrote float. So let me run it again. Okay, submit. So as you see, this solution is accepted. Now let's talk about the space and time complexity of this problem. Uh, the time complexity of this problem is actually O of n. Since we are going through each and every node once, it is O of n. And about the space complexity, it's taking O of n time and we are keeping all the nodes in memory when we are doing this recursive call. And so the space complexity of this algorithm is also going to be O of. I hope this explanation was helpful. If you like my videos, give it a thumbs up and comment below. You can also subscribe to it so that you'll be able to see any new videos coming up. The code for this is going to be on my GitHub repository and the link I'll share in the description below. If you don't know how to calculate space or time complexity, I have already a video on that. I'll include the link of that in the description. And also I have a video on depth for search and breadth for search. If you have a prop, if you don't know how to traverse through the binary search tree or you don't know how to get started. So you can have a look at that video as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.